Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday, and I'm in the car. Yes. And you're in the car. Both in the car. Whatever could that mean? I guess we told you in yesterday's video that we were going on a trip, but we are currently driving on the, are we on the turnpike? We're on the turnpike. We're like really close to Miami. Uh, about six miles away from the end of the turnpike. Ooh, so we're Benfinito a Miami, just yeah. like Will Smith. Yeah, and I don't see any $100,000 cars though. No $100,000 cars yet. But this is our current look at uh, the road right now. So we've just been driving on this road for a long time. <laughs> and we've had the GoPro recording while we were driving. So there's going to be a time lapse from the GoPro of our drive right now. Yeah. And some of you might be wondering, where are we going? At this moment, we are on our way to Key Largo, but our trip will actually be like the Keys as a whole. We're gonna go to the Upper Keys, the Middle Keys, the Lower Keys. We're gonna spend a few days in Key West. We're gonna do a lot of really cool stuff, so I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys. And our very first stop, like I said, it's in Key Largo, and we're going to be visiting the African Queen, which is a boat and a movie. So it'll be kind of cool to see the actual boat from the movie. Um, I'm pretty excited. It's the real African Queen. It's like a small steamboat. So we're gonna take a tour on it. We're actually going to ride on the African Queen like the like like Catherine Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart. But we won't have a torpedo or anything, I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> the night is young. So right now we're driving down this road. It looks kind of like an on-ramp. It's very narrow. But the fence is, there's like a big barbed wire fence. I don't know if you can even see it because we're driving so fast. But what what is it hold, what's over there? I think maybe that's the Everglades. Oh. All right, it just started pouring. <laughs> and the rain stopped just like that. As I was talking to you, the rain totally stopped. So there you go, Florida rainstorm. So we're on this bridge and we just passed a sign that said crocodile crossing. And I don't think that crocodiles are native to Florida, are they? I didn't think so. I, oh. There's ocean over there. Uh, we're like on a peninsula right now. I'll show you in just one second, but that's weird, right? Like who's bringing crocodiles over here and why are they crossing the road? And how are they getting over this barrier, right? Yeah, yeah, there's like this big long tall barrier in between the lanes So here's the water that's on either side of us. Um, you can't you can kind of I, I don't know if you can really see there it is Okay, there's water But then over here there is water on the other side of all of the shrubbery. Oh wait, just kidding <laughs> Maybe there isn't water on either side there of us. Oh, yeah, are you I sure? Earlier, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I've never really been here, so I'm not totally sure. Jen doesn't even go here. I know, I don't even go here. <laughs> Just as soon as I turn off the camera, you can see all the water finally. Yeah, there it is. There it is. You can see it on that side, you might be able to see That's it. That's the water. See it on that side. And there is, I swear there's water over here too. <laughs> this is what I wanted to show you. So this was the bridge that we were on before we got onto the actual bridge when we were just by the little fenced off area. It looks like you're just going right over the water, but we were on like a road on dirt the entire time. We're in Key Largo now. We're in Key Largo now. Yay, Key Largo. There's a pretty big storm headed in, but here we are, there it is, the African Queen boat tour. We're pulling in. There it is. There's the African Queen. That's what we're gonna go on and go, yeah, we hope. Uh, so long as there isn't like a crazy storm, which, I mean, there's one right there, so who knows. Oh look, it says Gordon's Gin, which is funny. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a fully functioning steamboat and you can see the engine and everything. Looks pretty awesome. Oh, it's, it's like already going a little bit. Do you see it? Do you see the smoke coming out of it? So I was telling you guys earlier that we're coming to see the African Queen, which is the actual boat that was featured in the movie, the African Queen, and the plot summary for the movie, in case you guys are interested in checking it out, is in um, in Africa during World War I, a gin-swilling riverboat captain is persuaded by a straight-laced missionary to use his boat to attack an enemy warship. So if that sounds like something you want to watch, you should definitely check it out. And you can even tell everybody that you saw the boat right here in this video. So there it is, the actual boat. Restored in 2012. So in the story, Catherine Hepburn plays Rosie Sayer, who is the straight-laced missionary 
and Charlie Allnut, who is played by Humphrey Bogart, plays the gin-swilling riverboat captain. So he's actually the captain of the African Queen. And it, on here it says that he won an Academy Award for this movie. Oh wow. So the captain just came down and talked to us and he showed us the radar and it looks like the rain is falling apart. So I think we're still going out. You know, it's like never a dull moment with the Florida storms, right? Right. <laughs> like you just never know. Wait 10 minutes. So interesting, like seeing the clouds. But here's the good news is that's west of us. That's north and it's headed from north to south. So I think we're gonna miss it. Yeah, look at this. Like now, blue skies. So I think we're good to go. Welcome guys aboard the African Queen. Um, the African Queen here was built in the year 1912. So she's 105 years old. Basically the boat was built for the British East Coast Railway. After it was built, they uh, shipped it down to Uganda, Africa. And uh, that's where they hauled their supplies, carried their cargo up and down to Belgian Congo. Now, in 1951, a gentleman named John Houston, he was a director, made a lot of movies and so forth. He came to the railway company and inquired about leasing the boat to build the movie After the Queen with Captain Pepper and Humphrey Bogart. And that's how the boat got her name was from the movie. Uh, the name of the boat before was called the Steam Vessel Livingston. The boat remained in Africa until about 1968, working as a supply boat. In 1982, boat was purchased by a gentleman down here named Jim Hendricks. He uh, purchased the African Queen, brought it down to Key Largo here, and it's been down here ever since. Here's the marina where they did all the restoration work to this boat. Passing by told us that there was a manatee up here somewhere and we're trying to see it now. Oh, he's got a GoPro underwater. He's got his GoPro in the water with the manatee. That's gonna be an amazing shot on that GoPro. Oh, and there's a baby one right there too. I still am a little bit blown away by the fact that we just rode on a boat that is over a hundred years old. Like that was amazing. So much fun, I highly recommend it. If you guys are coming down to the Keys, stop off at the African Queen and take it out for a quick spin. It was well worth it. We're in Isla Mirada now, yay! We're heading to our hotel. It's a Guy Harvey outpost. It's called the Islander Resort. We're on Isla Mirada and there's a bunch of little keys, like we're going over Whale Harbor Channel right now. 
Oh, so wait, there are whales in there? I don't know about that. Well, but they I, called it Whale Harbor. And this is the Upper Macon... I can never say this, Macatumbe, Ma Matacumbe Key. Oh. Upper Matacumbe. Check it out. Oh, there's Wahoos, Wahoos. Oh, that place looks fun. And then tomorrow, I didn't get a chance to show you this as we drove by because it happened so quickly, but we will be going to the Theater of the Sea which is a dolphin and sea lion facility. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm very excited about that actually. So that'll be what we do tomorrow morning. And um, then tonight we're just gonna, we're driving to the hotel now. We're gonna check into the hotel and uh, try to find some dinner. All right, we're pulling into our resort now. This is the Guy Harvey's Outpost. They have this big crazy thing. This kind of reminds me of Cabana Bay. Here is the hotel. This is a Guy Harvey resort. So I guess that just means that he like painted the murals maybe? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, like, uh, there's like a little island trolley that comes through. I don't know what it does. I think it takes you to all of the local places so you don't have to drive. We wanted to show you guys all the parking spots have fish instead of lines. I think this is where we're staying. I think this is it. I think that is our room right there. I think it's this one on the island, no? I think so. Or is that one? Oh my, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's like a little, like a little apartment. It smells really good in here. Oh, holy cow. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. This is awesome. Wow, this is so nice. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah. This is a giant bathroom. Holy macaroni. Wow. This is awesome. I'm so glad that we're staying here. I am too. Holy cow. Wow, and look. This is our view out the window. Crazy. It's so nice. How in the world did we get to be so lucky? This is insane. There's a hammock right there? Like what? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of upset we're only staying here one night. I know, me too. So our room is like right there. We're out on the beach now. We're just going and having a look around. This is like a 24 hour fishing pier over here. There's a pool there with a, with a pool bar. This is awesome. We're gonna go have a look in the water, go up to a pool bar get a drink and go out on the dock. It'll be fun. So anywhere down in the Keys, they call the water either beachside or oceanside, which is what we are, or bayside, which is opposite. So you'll get a sunset on the bayside and a sunrise on the ocean side. There's the 24 hour fishing pier. Here's the swimming area. If we turn around, this is a saltwater pool. Just on the other side is a freshwater pool. And then here's where we're gonna get a drink right here at Guy's Beachside Bar and Grill. And then from nine to five, you can rent like fishing poles or catamarans or uh, like sailboats over there. Looks like fun. I like this sign here. It tells me what, how far away everything is. We got some conch fritters because we're in the islands. So we have to eat conch fritters. I don't like seafood, but I'm gonna eat these because we are in the islands. There's a rainbow out there. It's going right to the fishing dock. Wanted to give you guys a quick tour of our room. It is a studio type room with like refrigerator, dishwasher, sink, oven, stove, little microwave, and everything is decorated with Guy Harvey stuff. And there's like a little kitchenette here, and then a couch, which I think might be a pullout. I which think it is. I haven't actually looked. Yep. It is a pullout. And I think this room could probably sleep four or five people. And then we go into the bedroom, king size bed, Guy Harvey everywhere. It's really cool. Yeah. Flat screen TV here and in this like front room here. Bathroom is gigantic. The toilet takes forever to flush. I don't know why, <laughs> but this place is nicer than any Disney resort we have stayed at. And I like that all the toiletries, oh no, hi. I like that all the toiletries are um, Bath and Body Works. That's very nice. Yeah. And you get this kind of a view out your front window. Oh, so awesome, you guys. It looks fake, but it's not, it's real. There's so much salt all over the windows. It's so funny. So we're on our way to dinner and- There's a big lobster right there. Oh. Look behind us. I can't oh, see no. it. Oh. On the way back. On the way back, we'll show you. Yeah, sorry. All right, we just came out here real quick to show you guys the sunset. It is so pretty. Look at that. Ding dang. Totally running out to the end of the dock here to show you guys the sunset. Look at that.
Look at all the fish underneath the boat there. There are so many. I think my favorite part so far is how stinking clear the water is. Look at that. That's amazing to me. This is ocean water. Totally a thunderstorm rolling in right now. We are gonna be stuck, but the good news is we are underneath cover at our little table here, which will be nice. And I've got a little time lapse going on my phone, but we've been messing it up by like rotate. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh no, look at the sunset though. I wish you guys could like really see what it's like. I'm gonna lower the exposure a little bit so that it's, oh my, too much. I feel like that's pretty close to where we're at. Maybe like right there. It's very beautiful out today. Look at this ridiculousness that's happening right now. It looks so good. We have the most beautiful sunset happening right now and these guys out here in this boat are playing crisscross jump. Those guys. I'm gonna leave it rolling just to see if I can catch a, like a nice stream of lightning happening. It's wiggity wiggity whack. So what are you gonna get to eat? Ooh. Did it happen? Yeah, another oh, lightning. Then I got it on film. So the clouds, ooh. ooh, I missed it. It was just out of frame. I said our dinner show is a storm building on the bay side of the island. Here's the problem with sitting outside in like after it's dark out. It's dark. It's so dark outside. <laughs> but here is our food. It's I got a burger light. and uh, sweet potato fries. And you got a blackened mahi sandwich with a loaded baked potato. Looks pretty good. It does look good. So I figured I would end it with Guy Harvey in the background and we are heading off to bed. This is the one and only night that we are in this resort. Fantastic resort. I wish we could spend more nights here. But we are off tomorrow for more Adventures in the Keys, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.